I am out here in my garden pruning and I prune leaves as the mid Latter gardening course recommends is that you do not have any leaves touching the ground because that can cause disease, uh, invite insects and other problems. So I'm out here removing the leaves from my plants so they're not touching the ground. Now typically in the past as we've gardened for the last many years we take this and get rid of it. Either we till it back into the soil or we just remove it from the garden. But it's dawned on me since our goal is to completely be eating out of the garden not to buy any more produce at the grocery store that we can grow here that I'm really throwing away a lot of food. Now I've just pruned the cabbage, cauliflower and broccoli and let me show you what I harvested. These are the leaves from the cabbage that I pruned. You can see the big beautiful green sturdy healthy nutrient filled leaves. This is from the cauliflower. You can see also big huge giant leaves. It'd be a shame for this to go to waste. I'm sure it's fine for compost but to me I look at this as food. So as I stand back and take a look at what I harvested here I have at least six, seven, possibly eight meals that I would have just thrown away. This has really dawned on me recently since I started using the mint ladder gardening method that I really can grow all the produce I need to eat if I eat all the produce I grow. And this is not waste, not compost, it's food, it's produce. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to juice this. I'll show you that in a minute. And then put it in the Vitamix and mix it with frozen bananas and fruit and make fruit smoothies. And that is a delicious way to eat your fruits and vegetables. One thing that we always do is when we bring in fruits and vegetables from the garden or anywhere else, we clean them with this chloral silver fruit and veggie spray. I got this recipe from Aroxia Kennard and I'll post it below. We have it here in this spray bottle. As you can see it's one cup water, half cup chloral silver which we make ourselves. Very inexpensive to make if you make it yourselves. Very expensive to buy. So I'll have a link to a really good chloral silver machine that you can buy online at a really good price. Then we have a half a cup apple cider vinegar add a half a teaspoon of sea salt and then we just stir it together and then we just spray this on the vegetables when we bring them in. This will take care of any residue and insects that are on the vegetables. We'll let it sit for a few minutes, maybe five or ten minutes, then we rinse them off with water. To make the colloidal silver veggie and fruit spray, I simply get out a bottle of colloidal silver that we've made, some apple cider vinegar, some natural salt, I get a half a cup measuring cup, and a half a teaspoon and I put everything in here and mix it together. Once it's dissolved I pour it in the spray bottle. But because I'm harvesting so many greens I actually just filled up the sink with water and dumped that entire solution into the sink and I let the greens soak here for about 10 minutes. To hand spray all of these greens would take quite a bit of time. Now that I've let them soak for about 10 minutes and rinse them off underneath cold water I'll just let them dry here for a few minutes and then start juicing them. But that's a lot of food that would have been simply thrown away or composted. This is the juicer I'm using. My wife recently got it I think for Christmas or birthday or something. Anyway it's a Black & Decker JE1500 model and it's doing fine but with the volume of greens that I want to juice and the type of greens and because I am juicing greens, I don't know that this is particularly the best juicer to use. So if you have any recommendations of juicers that you use and that you like, please comment below because I am starting to look for a better juicer. Probably a masticating juicer instead of a centrifugal juicer. I juiced it and I used this big cup here because the cup that comes with it just wasn't big enough. There's the greens that are left over. And those greens made four and a half cups of juice. 
but it still left a huge bag full of greens. You can barely even tell that I've even made a dent in this. So I'm going to be sharing these greens with my family and neighbors. But what I'm going to do now is I just take arbitrarily whatever is in the freezer, some frozen fruit, blueberries, always going to add a banana or two. It really adds a nice sweetness to it. Here's some frozen cherries. Here's a, a variety of tropical fruits. And I'm going to mix this to flavor. I just kind of drop it in and blend it all together in a Vitamix. There are a couple really good mixtures out there. I really believe the Vitamix is probably the best and it has held up extremely well over years and years of heavy use. Something to consider in your kitchen. I ended up with about equal parts of fruit and vegetables here and I just simply did it by taste. I did add some of each of the fruit that you saw laying out here. I ended up with just shy of five meals. I'll take one of these jars here. I'll toast up some homemade soaked whole wheat bread. Put some coconut oil on it and some honey from the backyard and that will give me a full meal. I had estimated that this bag would give me 10 meals. It would easily give me 20 or 30 meals. And that's how you can easily more than double at no cost the food production from your garden. Simply juice it. We want to get as much production from our garden as possible and this is an easy way to do it. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you get into juicing and start using the whole plant as food, you'll be able to lower your food costs, your food budget, and eat healthier.